Hey guys, as you know, I have a Celestron Astro Master 130 EQ, and uh, basically, I just wanted to discuss the kind of stuff that I've gotten after getting this scope. Uh, so, even so, you know, if some of you are considering uh, getting some accessories after you buy your basic scope, uh, like the Astro Master, you might, you know, get some ideas from stuff that I have bought uh, so to stay start with um, when I bought the Astro Master um, it was just a pure equatorial mounted scope and it did not have a motor drive uh, so one of the things that I purchased after um, buying the telescope itself is the motor drive uh, which you can see is attached over there um, and here are some of the other stuff so there's a lot of stuff which I've tried uh, prob but probably you might benefit from the feedback that I have so as you know uh, the Astro Master itself came with um, you know the 20mm erecting eyepiece and, and the 10mm eyepiece um, so, but I bought a kit um, which came with uh, the 15 mm, the 6 mm uh, eyepieces, and the 2x bar loop, and and these filters that you can see here. So there's the known filter. Then there's a blue filter and a red filter. Uh, so the the blue and the red filter I have not really found very useful, uh, but the moon filter I guess you could you know, it's somewhat useful when especially when the when it's a full moon that you want to observe. Um, but uh, instead of getting these separate eyepieces, uh, what I got I would suggest buying is something like a zoom eyepiece. So that you, that you can see here. So just open this up. So this is a Celestron Zoom eyepiece that I bought. So this one you can go all the way from uh, twenty four mm to eight mm. And what's nearly neat about a zoom eyepiece, uh, especially with a beginner scope with, with no uh, guiding or tracking, um, is that you know you don't need to get the scope out and then put in a higher magnification and then lose the object that you were uh, trying to view. So that's I think it's it's, it's a great uh, advantage in having a, a zoom eyepiece like this. Um, and I, I must say this is like if you can get if you're really planning getting something instead of getting an eyepiece kit uh, with a lot of different uh, eyepiece sizes and things like that if you can just get a zoom eyepiece like this i think you would really use it i you know i don't even use these other eyepieces anymore i just would really rely on uh, the zoom eyepiece and uh, another thing about this zoom eyepiece is that it 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 comes so it comes with these grooves at the end over here. Uh, this is the one from Celestron. So it comes with these grooves at the end here. I'm not sure if you can see it. So it comes with these grooves. Can you see it now? Okay, which you can actually use if you're buying, uh, if you have a camera, and you get uh, an adapter. So for my Nikon mirrorless camera, uh, I bought this uh, T2 adapter for it, and I can actually screw it on. This goes 
goes into the camera. So you basically can attach your camera onto it for some ethical astrophotography. And this would basically you know, go into your eyepiece. Right. Of course, you have the uh, aperture filter, the solar filter, which also I had um, basically given a demo of in one of my older videos. It's a really useful thing to have, especially when you are in the city and you can't really view uh, on all the nights. At least you can view the sun during the daytime. Yeah. If you want to connect your mobile directly onto your um, uh, telescope then this is a another this is a go sky adapter but i think we are, you know you there are a lot of adapters out there now so you could probably get any of them um, i'll try to leave links to each of these accessories in the description so that you can take a look at it and see this is also pretty useful um, so i i you can attach this to your eyepiece uh, so this would again go in onto the eyepiece over there and it's also pretty useful so though nowadays i basically just use the camera uh, and it's adapted directly so yeah in general what i can suggest is if you are trying to choose between a lens kit uh, and something else maybe you you do need the barlows so you can get the barlow lenses um, and uh, you know don't try to go in for the big kits i'm not sure if they are really helpful um, but if you can get something like the uh, like the zoom lens that I showed you, uh, I think that's really going to improve um, uh, you know your observation time. You you're not wasting time taking the eyepiece in and out of the scope and spending more time in viewing. Okay, then these are um, anti vibration pads, so you can place these under your tripod legs and they really bring down the uh, vibration on the telescope and these are not from Celestron and not a branded one I guess uh, this is something I got locally and it was a lot lot cheaper uh, than the ones uh, which are listed from Celestron on Amazon and yeah I guess I did not show this so this is a parallel lens that I got separately and it's pretty neat and you see you can use these Barlow lens along with the zoom eyepiece and you are basically covered uh, at least with my uh, small scope I'm basically covered for the entire magnification range that I could practically hope to achieve uh, with my scope mm, yeah and this uh, the 2x Barlow also comes with grooves um, so so I can actually attach the two X Barlow also to my camera and uh, basically use this for um, you know astrophotography as well and because I could take the line side out too so this is the lens part and that way I, I can just um, ideally this should work for a focal photography but what I've noticed is that the length of this um, you know doesn't permit it so the only way um, so it, it would need to be a lot shorter so if I want to put this directly on my eyepiece um, and I want to focus I would need to focus it on somewhere here and basically these attachments I mean it doesn't work so 
I'm better off with just using the Barlow. And with the 2H Barlow on, I'm actually able to take photographs. That does work. So that's it. Let me be careful with that filter. And if you have any questions, uh, do post them in comments and uh, I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching. Bye.